Folks, this is your typical pellet feed for chickens. Um, I don't know, I think it's garbage, but <clears throat> throw a handful out there for the chickens. This stuff has a little bit higher concentration of protein, <clears throat> and if you look at it, it's exactly what the doctor ordered for your chickens. And it is called the Hen House Reserve. <clears throat> now, my chicks started laying eggs at five months. First, cluck of chickens we've had or clutch whatever they're called um that we've actually had lay eggs at five months old um i am really surprised uh, they're black jersey giants uh this stuff is really encouraging egg laying um and these girls are almost as big as the rooster over there which is a rhode island red so you can pretty much figure out how big these girls are already in comparison to a rhode island red Black Jersey Giant Chicks. The, this food has gotten them a super shiny feather. Um, all their feathers are beautiful gold, uh, like a, a purplish green color. Uh, they got a sheen to them like that, like a reflective coloration to them. Almost like a dark purple slash green. You can see it right there on the back of their, their feathers. This food is phenomenal, guys. Even his uh, feathers are silky, shiny. This food has done wonders for our chickens. Um, like I said, if you guys know anything about chickens, it usually takes six to eight months for your chickens to actually start laying eggs. And when you start going, you know, five months, they're turning just five months, and all of a sudden you start hearing them uh, going off in the hen house. I'm like, what? And then I'm looking at the rooster, and he's tagging them. And I'm like, Ro the rooster usually don't tag them until they're old enough to start being mature uh, uh, in a sexual maturity style. Um, and then once I've seen him hopping on I knew they were laying eggs somewhere. And I would be hearing them in the woods. Fuck, 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 basically what they sound like when they're laying an egg but uh anyway at five months old i have uh, already gotten three and a half dozen eggs um and just such an awesome feeling that you're feeding your chickens a much better food than say tractor supply or most brands at walmart or even um pet supply or um just about any place we go agway um has good feed uh, Waymark grain has really good feed, but you know, it's a really far away and it doesn't even look as good as this hen house reserve. Now I pay $20 for a bag of that. That lasts about three weeks, but at $6 a dozen of eggs, uh, especially free range and the yolks are like damn near orange. They're so yellow. And then you get the free range eggs in the store and they're pale and it looks sick. It looks like you're mixing milk, uh, I can't, we couldn't even eat the store-bought eggs after having our own chickens for, you know, almost a decade. It's just something you can't go back to, you know. It's like you drive a 4x4, four four, you never want to go back to a car again because the traction, the snow, the amount of stuff you could put in it, you know, stuff like that. Everything has its pros and cons. But with chicken feed, it's really important to make sure you give your guys a really good diet. You know, most people sit here and spend $70 on a bag of dog food, you know, for blue, for the dog, give them the best. Dry food ain't the best. Dry food is actually one of the worst foods to give them, no matter what label is on the bag. And same thing with chicken feed. However, when it comes to seeing seeds and nuts and, and peas and pieces of carrots, and, and those carrots help give, and oh, actually, there's carrots and um, I believe there's even, uh, oh, what the hell are they called? Um... Ah, it helps make the eggs even really bright orange. And actually, I'll show you guys a picture of one of the eggs.